Hey everyone, namaste. If it's your first time tuning in, my name is Nick. In today's practice, we'll be doing a quick and straight to the point vinyasa flow where the, the main sequence will be built up one posture at a time. This will be at a little bit more of an intermediate level practice. Beginners can still give it a shot, but some of the transitions might be pretty challenging. Even if you're at the intermediate advanced stage, some of this stuff can still be pretty challenging. So as always, approach everything in a way that works for you. And you might even get a benefit out of watching this video first, just to see what the sequence kind of looks like. The benefit though is that it will repeat. So you'll be able to hopefully zone in on making the transition smoother each time that it does repeat. You won't need any props for this class. It might be helpful to have a block or two at the front of the mat just to help you with some of the transitions, especially if balancing in something like half moon is tricky for you. Other than that, let me know down in the comments if you like this practice, if I should make more like this. Let me know if you'd like to see something else. Liking and subscribing also goes a long way. And I'll see you on the mat. So let's get right to it in tabletop position. Situate your wrists under your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Check that the toes are pointing straight back behind your knees. And let's tuck the toes underneath. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, arch, cow pose. Exhale, round, cat pose. Inhale, arch. Exhale, rounds. Two more like that. Inhale, arch. Pull the upper arms back. Lift the tailbone. Exhale, round. Tuck the chin. Lift the back of the heart and tuck the tailbone. Inhale, arch. Exhale, rounds. Let's start to add on a little bit here. Inhale, arch. Exhale, rounds. Then stay rounded, inhale, lower your elbows down to the floor, tuck the toes. Exhale, lift your knees up and straighten your legs at any amount. Inhale, lower the knees back to the floor. And then exhale, come into cat, tuck the tail, pull the hands backwards. Inhale, arch. Exhale, rounds. Inhale, elbows to floor. Exhale, knees off the floor, push the chest backwards. Inhale, lower knees to the mat. Exhale, round. One more arch, inhale. Round, exhale. Elbows down, keep shoulders protracted, inhale. And then lift knees and straighten legs any amount, so they can be pretty bent. Or if you're open enough for a dolphin with straight legs, go ahead and do that. But keep it relatively short for now, so you're still working a little bit more activation in the upper body. Hold here for three more breaths. Reach the inner thighs back slightly. Press elbow tips and palms down. Drop head and soften through your jaw. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Lower knees down to the floor, inhale. Round the spine, exhale. And then find neutral, lower your forearms down so your hands are at the front of the mat. And protract the shoulders, think a little bit of hugging in through your elbows. And then walk your feet back, keep your hips at the same height as your shoulders, find a forearm plank. Energize down through the elbows and the feet and find a little bit of dragging towards one another. And you want to keep the entire body as exactly as it is. We're just going to start to move the pelvis through cat and cow. So without changing your upper back, inhale, lift the tailbone up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone in. Inhale, lift the tailbone up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone in. Hips the only thing moving. Inhale, tailbone up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone in. Two more. Inhale, tailbone up. Exhale, tailbone in. Last one, inhale, tailbone up. And then exhale, tuck tailbone in and hold there. Five, four, three, two, one. With control, slowly lower the hips down. Whew, sphinx pose. Getting everything started right out of the gate today. 
Press your elbows and your hands down. Think of dragging elbows back while keeping them rooted. And notice how that helps to create a little bit more forward through your chest. Lift the back of the skull and think very slightly, pull your nose away from the front of the mat. Activate the glutes, reach the toes back. Not much longer here, just do another two breaths. Good, take the hands together wide and through the elbows. Bend your knees and windshield wiper your feet from side to side a couple of times. But feel good, simple, and effective. Set the hands back under the shoulders, press up to hands and knees to move your way back through downward facing dog. And take a few moments in downward facing dog to move in any way that feels good. It's a little pulsing forwards and backwards in a slow way through your shoulders. Maybe that's something with your legs, like alternating and bending to the knees. Or maybe it's a couple of moments of stillness to just kind of tune in and feel what's going on without any movement. Either way, take another two breaths here. And we'll start to build our flow. Right leg up towards the sky, big inhale. For this first one, exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Reach strongly through your right heel while keeping right armpit wrapping down towards the floor. Spin your elbow tips down and root through the index and thumb knuckles. One more inhale here. And then exhale into a fallen triangle. Kick the right leg out to the side, but have this right foot in line with your right hip. Lower the left heel down, wave the left arm up, and reach it forward. A nice strong push down through your right hands. Keep the feet flexed. Pull the lower belly in slightly and drive up through the left hip. Two more breaths. Good. With control, lower your left hand to the floor. Right foot floats back. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up to the sky. Bend the knee and stack the hip. Again, strongly reach through your left heel. Notice how that twists your torso to the left, instead think twist torso down to the floor and wrap the elbow points down. So there's still external rotation through the upper arms. Take the inhale here. And exhale into fallen triangle, kick the left leg out in line with your left hip. Root down through the feet, reach the right arm up and overhead. Press down strongly through the left hand. Reach actively through your right fingers as you press down through the outer edge of your right foot and create that subtle lift through the left hip. One more breath in and one more breath out. Right hand to the floor, step the left foot back. Downward facing dog. And so now every time that we move through this flow, we'll add on a few postures or add on another posture and everything that we've already done will be flowed through. We'll take a vinyasa in between. Inhale, shift forward into plank pose. Exhale, you can lower down through a chaturanga or something else. Curve the spine on an inhale and then down dog on the exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, fall in triangle with the right foot in line with the hip. Reach your left hand forward. Inhale, put a bend into your left knee so you shift your weight back. And you can watch this first. On your exhale, you're gonna step the left foot up and over. Lower the left hand to the front left corner of the mat and then push through the left foot right into half moon. So you can keep a little bit of a bend into this left knee here. Even using a block under the left hand might be helpful at this point. We're getting into these pretty big standing poses relatively early. So support them in a way that supports you. One more breath. Good, bend the left knee, reach your right toes back slow with control, and then place the hands to the floor. Left leg up, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, fall in triangle, kick the leg out to the side. Reach the right hand forward and bend the right knee as you inhale. Then exhale, step up and over and plant the right hand down. Open up into half moon. And with half moon, just be Consistent with your right hand forward so that you have the space in the bottom half of your torso. 
root through your right foot, especially your heel. Lift through the outer left heel of your left foot and stretch the crown of your head forward. Take one more breath in here. And then lower the left hand to the floor. Bend the right knee. Pose if you want to take a vinyasa. Otherwise, you can go right to downward facing dog and skip the extra movements. Inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, fall in triangle, right foot out in line with the hip. Wave the left arm up, inhale, bend your left knee. And then use the exhale to step up and over. Inhale, come into half moon pose. And then on your exhale, bend the left knee, step the right foot back. Bring your right hand down in line with your left foot. Reach the left hand up. Couple of breaths here. Low lunge of the twist. So the left knee shoots forward, right thigh lifts up away from the floor. Notice how that might pull you out of the twist a little bit. What that does is help to level off the hips and bring the torso more into the revolve, more into being revolved, something. One more breath. And lower your left hand to the floor. Three-legged dog is your inhale. Exhale, fall in triangle, kick the leg out to the side. Wave the right arm, forward, right arm forward, inhale. Bend your right knee to step forward on the exhale. Right fingertip down, half moon, inhale. And then exhale, left hand to the floor, blow the left foot back, reach the right hand up. Good, hug the right hip into the middle, lift the left thigh and hip up. Left hand can be flat or left fingertips on the floor will force you to do a little bit more work in your legs. So take what's appropriate. And do it for one more breath. Vinyasa. Otherwise, if you're feeling down dog, go right to down dog. Right leg up, inhale, three-legged dog. Fall in triangle, exhale. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, step up and over, half moon pose. Inhale, open up. And then on your exhale, lower the right hand down, float the left hand up. From here, put a little bend into your right knee and then come up into a twisted high lunge. And so you can work into a straighter right leg here, but you can also keep it bent to allow you to get more depth through your hips and an easier rotation through your torso. Push down strongly into your feet Lift through both sides of your ribs and think backs of hands away from one another. So like if you were gonna give yourself a high five behind your back, the backs of your hands would touch. One more breath. Good, hands to the floor. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, fall in triangle. Inhale, bend the right knee, set your gaze. Exhale, step up and over, half moon pose. Inhale, wave up. Exhale, float back. Open the wrist. Then bend your left knee and rise up. So that might happen. It's all good. Root down strongly into your big toes here. And then find a little bit of inner thighs squeezing towards one another as the collarbones widen and the palms move away from the midline. Steady your gaze and take two more breaths. Good, hands to the floor. Step the right foot back. Vinyasa if you want one, downward facing dog if you don't. Right leg up, inhale, three-legged. Fall in triangle, exhale. Inhale, bend your left knee and use the left foot to push forward on the exhale. Half moon pose, inhale. And then on the exhale, right hand down, float the right foot back. Bend your right knee, inhale to rise up. And then from here, do a big cartwheel open into peaceful warrior. Shoot the inside of your left knee forward while you hug the left hip in. Drop both hips down and get light in your rib cage, stretch up and over. Two more breaths.
Good. Hands to the floor, right into three-legged dog. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, fall in triangle. Wave the right arm forward, inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, step up and over, and lower your right hand. Inhale, half moon pose. Exhale, arch twist. Keep the twist, inhale, rise up, bent leg high lunge. And then exhale, swivel open, take it into peaceful warrior. So again, the inner right hip, rather the inner right thigh moves forward while the right hip hugs in. Reach up strongly through your right hand and let that create a chain reaction through your right side body, lifting and getting longer as well. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Take it down to the floor. Plank pose if you want to flow. Downward facing dog if you don't. Or just a little bit more left here. Right leg up, inhale, three-legged dog. Fall in triangle, exhale. Bend the left knee on the inhale, set your gaze. Step up and over on the exhale for half moon. Inhale, open it up. Low lunge, twist, exhale. And then bend the right knee to come up, inhale. Exhale, take it into peaceful warrior. And then the inhale, straighten the left leg, bring the left hand to the heart. Exhale, bend into your right knee, sit towards the back of the mat. And this is a little bit more of a upright variation. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, sink, sinking right hip down to the heel, reach the left hand to the ankle, and then bring the hand behind the head. So you're in this kind of twisted skandhasana. Dig the left heel down, reach the right knee away from your midline, and try to get upright through your spine as much as possible. Two more breaths. Good, so take your gaze to the inside of the left foot here, swivel forward, place the right hand down on the floor, and then twist left foot back behind you. Come into Kumar Karasana. Drive the hips up, extend forward through the left hand. So we had it in two poses this round. One more inhale. And then here on the exhale, lower the left hand down. Three-legged dog inhale. Fall in triangle, exhale. Inhale, bend the right knee, look forward. Step forward gracefully on the exhale and take it into half a moon as you inhale. Exhale, twist a little lunge. Peaceful warrior on the exhale. And then inhale, right hand to the heart, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee. And maybe stay here in this more upright skandhasana or bring the hand behind the head. Reach the right hand towards the left ankle. So that variation's not as prevalent in my body at this moment. I'm gonna hang out up here, drive down through the feet, create lift to the chest, while finding a little bit of the tailbone shooting back. Spot your gaze on the inside of the right foot. Swivel forward, plant the left hand there, and then step the right foot back behind you as gracefully as possible. Push the hips up, reach the right hand forward. Good, active through your left hand, a little bit more through the inner hand. Last breath here. And let's take it in through the finishing round. Right leg up, inhale. Fall in triangle, exhale. Inhale, bend the left knee. Step up and over on the exhale. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, twisted, low lunge. Bend the right knee to come up, inhale. And then exhale, stay low, swivel into peaceful. Inhale to straighten out. And then exhale, bend the right knee, skandhasana. Shift your weight forward on the inhale. Step up and back on the exhale. Then you're gonna keep the left knee bent. Inhale, lower the left hand to the floor, one-legged plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat and then reach your left hand back around for the left foot. Kick it back. Right hand forward. Push the hand down to lift the chest. If you want more, lift the right leg. 
lift the right hand. So either way, it's a one-legged bow, but maybe it's also a locust. Three, two, one. Tuck your right toes. Plant your hands down. Take an inhale here. Squeeze your elbows together. And then your exhale, you're pushing up to plank pose and drawing the left knee into the left elbow. Three-legged dog, inhale. A little crazy, I know. Step it out to the side, exhale. Inhale, bend the right knee, look forward. Gracefully step up and over, even if it takes a few tries. Half moon, inhale. Twisted low lunge, exhale. Bend the left knee to come up, inhale. Peaceful warrior, exhale. Straighten right leg, hand to heart, inhale. Bend the left knee, sit back, exhale. Left hand to front of mat, inhale, reach forward. Step up and over on the exhale, lift your hips. And then come back to plank, right foot points up, inhale. Slowly lower to the floor, exhale. Whew, reach your right hand back for your right foot. Give it a good kick. Left hand forward, maybe stay here. Maybe lift left foot and left hand. But this is plenty. Three. Two. And then on one, plant your hands. Inhale here, hug your elbows in. Exhale, press straight up to plank, knee into right elbow. And then inhale, step the right foot back. Take the vinyasa. I'm trying to keep this, <laughs> trying to keep this video a little bit shorter, but you could continue to work on that flow if you wanted to on your own, and even just repeat it a couple more times. But from here, bend your knees, look forward. Come into a seated position for boat. Drop the seat down, squeeze the knees together, grab the backs of the thighs, lift the chest up, and get your breath back. If you don't need the hands, you don't use them, reach them forward. And you can stay right here, grab your thighs whenever you need to, you even put the feet down. Otherwise, let's take a few high to low boats. We're going to do it for an increments of five seconds. So take an inhale here, and then exhale, extend for five, four, three, two, one. Take an inhale here, exhale, come up for five, four, three, two, one, inhale here. Exhale, go back five, four, squeeze inner legs together. One, inhale here. Exhale, come up five, four, three, two, one. Don't rush the hard parts, inhale. Exhale, go down five, four, three, two, one. Stay there for the inhale. Exhale, come up for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here. And then on your exhale, set your feet down. Dig them down and slowly lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach your arms up overhead. Press your feet into the floor. You might have to walk them in a little bit closer. Lift your toes and drive your hips up to the sky. Think that the tailbone reaches forward and then up. Your feet are strongly a part of the equation, digging down into the floor. And your hands can stretch away from you to help create a little bit more lightness in your upper back. One more breath in. And then as you breathe out, slowly lower your hips down to the floor. Take one breath here. And then come back up. Option to stay or option to take your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up into the crown of the head, hang out there, or take it full tilt all the way up into upward, facing bow pose or Vidanyarasana. Push into your hands, push into your feet. Reach, reach forward and up through your tailbone. Two more breaths. Let's slowly lower each piece down. Take a deep breath in, and deep breath out. One more round of that. Go ahead, lift your hips up. 
If you're feeling hands behind your shoulders by the sides of the head, go ahead and lift up all the way. And if you're practicing deeper back bends that I'm offering, have fun. Three. Two. Last full breath. Good, drop the hips down to the floor. Whew. Straighten the right leg, point the toes out, bend the knee and cross the ankle, a little windshield wiper. Take your arms out to a teal, make it easier. And the next time your legs go over to the left, leave them there, sole of the right foot down. Left hand maybe grabs the right ankle. Right hand maybe encourages your right hip forward. A few deep breaths here. Press into the left arm to come back up through center and switch your legs. Open the arms, windshield wiper a few times from side to side. And let both legs go over to the right. Right hand maybe grabs left ankle. Left hand maybe encourages left hip forward. Slow the breath down. And come back up through center. Draw the legs into your chest. I'm not sure if that's gonna cause any disturbances in the audio moving the pack, but here we are. And extend your legs up to the sky. For some of you, maybe grabbing onto the hands behind the legs and kind of letting the hands and legs fall into one another can feel nice. Also propping up the hips. If you feel inclined to take a plow pose instead, that can be a great thing to do. Get a little bit of a stretch through the entire back of the body. Then press the upper arms down, lift the hips, reach the feet to the floor behind you. And then really press down into the upper arms here. Focus on the easy quality of your exhales. And if there's any final postures that you want to take, not too long of a cool down, go ahead and take them. And of course, if you have more time to practice, do your thing. Otherwise, you can meet me here in a Shavasana. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Another one. <sighs> this time make an M sound when you exhale. Deep breath in. Mm. and be steady in your body. Observe the many sensations and thoughts that come from being still. And remain non-reactive. Remain peaceful. 
And take these few moments for yourself to rest and restore. For as long as it serves you. And once you're finished, it doesn't have to be right now, but you'll take your time making your way up through a seat, pushing over to one side before coming up. And bringing the hands to heart and bowing the head to seal your practice. It's been a pleasure sharing what I have to share with you today. Thank you for trusting me to guide you in your practice today. Namaste.